hello guys in this tutorial we will be going through a method to write uh, the recurrence relation for a program containing recursion in it okay so so far we studied uh, how to solve the recurrence relation and all and now we will be seeing how to uh, uh, how to write a recurrence relation for a given programming code containing the recursion in it so So uh, let me uh, okay. We studied. Uh, we <laughs> saw the example of uh, finding the summation of n numbers, right? In that we have a, fu uh, a function recursive sum, uh, which was taking n, and uh, somewhere in between, it was uh, storing the result in this format: n plus recursive sum of n minus 1 right and uh, in between there were some constant time complexity statements which we don't need to care about so this was the fundamental expression in this whole function so uh, if we say that the time complexity for this original problem is dn then uh, for this problem it will be t of n minus 1 Right. we are just taking the constant as it is uh, the variable as it is and this is the time complexity for this one and all these computation this is one addition don't be uh, bluffed with this n this is just an addition the addition of two number is constant but this number is variable this is varying with n but this is not varying this is just an addition operation which is again a theta 1 computation so it don't get bluffed with this so there are some theta 1 computation and this computation so very easy to write it as tn equals to t of n minus 1 plus theta 1 okay and there was a base case also when n equals to equals to 1 return okay or return 1 so you can just add the com you can just complete this this was for n greater than 1 and for n equals to 1 this is 1 so this is a uh, this recurrence relation is now complete okay. so this is how you should uh, write the recurrence relation for a programming construct okay let's take some more examples say uh, you have another program uh, any imaginary function fun which is taking some n and then somewhere it is calling itself n minus 1 then okay or it was just storing some result in some as fn minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 like a fibonacci series uh, but not actually that way and again some theta 1 computation then you can just write it as since t this is tn this is tn the time complexity for this function is tn for this it is tn minus 1 for this is tn minus 2 because you why we are taking now because there are two numbers which are being added the addition is constant but so there are two uh, there are three things here the computation for this the computation for this and the computation for this this is theta 1 but these things are varying with n okay so this is why we need to because we are calling this function again with smaller value so tn is in dependent on t of n minus 1 plus sorry t of n minus 2 plus some theta 1 computations okay so you got the idea how to write the recurrence relation for a programming construct one more example let us take uh, say you were having your function fn and then you uh, say you used some variable sum which is taking twice of f of n by 2 plus say n or any constant and rest is theta 1 <coughs> so the basic idea is how many times you are calling your uh, function inside this function so how many times you are calling here it's not two times you are calling this is just an operation okay this is an operation with theta 1 complexity this is again theta 1 complexity the, the addition of these 
this number and this number is constant but you need to first compute this so this is why you are uh, creating this recurrence relation so this tn will be t of n by 2 plus 1 or theta 1 okay instead of this if you would be having sum of tn by 2 plus t of n minus 1 by 2 or just for the sake of ease just write n by 2 plus n <coughs> so now you know that this is constant this is constant but you need to compute these two and these are the calls to this function so for that you need to write tn equals to this is tn by 2 this is tn by 2 so instead of writing it twice you because anyhow this is tn by 2 plus this is tn by 2 plus again it's theta 1 and this is what this is 2 of tn by 2 plus 1 okay so this is how you should uh, write and yeah one more thing uh, actually i didn't tell you about an exponential uh, complexity function so let me tell you that also so this part is done how to write the uh, recurrence relation for your program now i am discussing uh, our one more topic uh, some extra complexity functions and the methods to solve them uh, one such uh, one such a recurrence relation is or say rr so this is a special uh, uh, tutorial which is containing some special cases in it say tn is 2t of n minus 1 plus 1 so i want to solve because i didn't explain i have already shown you the polynomial uh, complexity functions but i didn't tell you how to uh, solve the function which is actually of this kind which is resulting in some exponential complexity so let's solve it so just substitution is the best example because you cannot do anything uh, better than that so just do this tn is uh, just 2 and you just substitute as t of n minus 2 because you are just doing this but you need to okay I'm using a different color okay so uh, this is twice of now I am using for this a bracket where for this a whole new expression is 2 into t of n minus 2 plus 1 now what remains is this plus 1 okay or uh, I can use another color for this one also so the thing which is substituted is this one only so this is also the older value now you got what is being substituted okay similarly again this is 2 square this is t of n minus sorry n minus 2 plus this is 2 plus 1 okay now again we want to substitute this is 2 square so for substitution what we need to do is this is 2 t of n minus 3 plus 1 and the rest of the things will be just use it 2 square plus 2 plus 1 oh sorry 2 square is not there so this is 2 plus 1 and the rest is just a substitution so you can solve it as 2 cube t of n minus 3 plus 2 square here plus 2 plus 1 okay so there will be a base case actually which should be telling that for this is for n greater than n greater n equals to n greater than 1 not equals to and for n equals to 1 t1 equals to 1 or tn equals to 1 okay so you can just see that for some kth round this is 2 to the power k and t of n minus k plus remaining will be the series till 2 to the power k minus 1 2 plus 1 okay so when you put n minus k equals to when you put n minus k equals to 1 you get n equals to or you just get k equals to n minus 1 okay so you got t1 here t1 is 1 so you got a series from 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 plus up to 2 plus 1 so do you remember the sum of this series this is a gp with the common ratio is 2 so okay 
the common ratio this is 2 so we need to find this so since this is a series from 1 to n so let me call this as the first term so this is the first term the formula for this is the first term r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so r here is 2 so 1 is the first term that is a so 1 r is 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 that is 2 to the power n minus 1 so the tn is theta of 2 to the power n basically okay 1 actually is a constant so we can ignore it so this is the exponential function so for tn equals to 2 t of n minus 1 plus 1 you are actually calling this function twice okay this is why this is exponential what if you would have uh, 3 in this place so in that case it would have been 3 to the power n. are you getting the idea so this is how you solve a uh, recurrence of this kind okay one more recurrence i should tell you okay yeah i have two more minutes okay so uh, one special kind of recurrence relation is this is the second one say tn equals to t of square root of n because this can also be the case i guess some problem was there on this also in gate okay so how to solve such problem okay you just put n equals to 2 to the power k in such case n keep n to the power yeah 1 by 2 will be 2 to the power k by 2 got the idea so just substitute this this is substitution okay so n uh, uh, t of 2 to the power k equals to t of 2 to the power k by 2 plus 1 oh sorry now we just this was substitution now we transform to another function such that t of 2 to the power k is s of k so t of 2 to the power k by 2 will be s of k by 2 so this is just the scale thing okay so you don't need to be worried about just put these things and what you'll be getting is s of k equals to s of k by 2 plus 1 since this term is independent of k so we are not worried about it but once if it's also dependent on k you have to change that also so this is quite an easy expression now is find the complexity which is i guess log k actually this is one and using master's method you can get uh, z s n to the power log of 1 to the base 2 that is 0 so you will get 1 so z is 1 uh, which is equals to f f is 1 f is constant so this is the third case in third case what is the complexity theta of f log n to the power k plus 1 so this is the third case complexity so just write it that way so in this case it will be theta of uh, what is f? this is and this is log of k and log k is what what is k k is log n so in this case this will be log of log n okay So these two cases I wanted to explain you guys. Hopefully you understood it. If you did, did not, then go through it once again. You will get it, I guess. Okay, thank you.